Okay, let's create a new JavaFX project. I'm using JDK 19. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use uh, JDBC with uh, JavaFX. Then uh, how to create an executive jar and Okay, this is a Maven build. Let's try to learn it. Okay, it works. So if you look at the source code as default, it comes with uh, two Java file and then FXML. I'm going to make a minor change to demonstrate uh, JDBC. So here, I'm going to add the um, text area. I will call it as a TA summary. I will use a simple select statement to take data out of a database and then display to this TA summary. Let me add the uh, FXML annotation. So let me just create a very simple JDBC program. But before that, let me remove uh, model info. I will do a uh, non-modular programming here to make it simple. OK, try catch. I will just do exceptions. Class for name. Uh, name of JDBC driver, which is a MySQL. Collection class. You can import. So if you want to do that, you have to add a MySQL driver. Under libraries, here program files. In my case, it's under Java. This is what I have. So, uh, my SQL collector. Okay. Now you can input a connection class. Driver manager. Connection methods. In my case, it's a, a local host, so JDBC MySQL local host. Default port number 3306. Database name is test. I do have a username, user1. Password, pass1. Again, it's up to you. Next one, statement. Connect, create statement. Here, actual SQL text, which is a simple select statement. Select, I have a three columns, number, first name, and then last name from employee table. So we will get it into a result set. Statement. 
exec query SQL text you may need to import result set which I did if you go up it's uh, java dot sql everything rs next I'm adding to TA summary up and text. First one is RS get string. I will get it as a string, even though it's a number. The second column is uh, first name. So I will just add one tab key. RS get string column name is first name let me just do one more RS get string last name Let me add a new line. So now we should be able to close connections and up there. Okay, up the while loop. Pretty much that's all. Okay, let's build project. Should be okay when you run it. Okay, configuration file, add new application. I will change to app. Main class will be um, same. Hello application, okay. VM options. Model pass. In my case, it's uh, Java FX SDK 19. Let me copy, paste it, and then add modules. Make sure you don't add uh, space after Java FX controls before Java FX FXML. Okay. Apply. Run. Okay, there is a typo. Missing D. That seems okay, but let me just adjust it so that it will be more readable. Okay. Okay, when you learn it, I uh, may not display anything. This is a complication with uh, library. Okay, so let's make it simple. Let me remove uh, Maven. I will just use um, Java FX SK SDK library. Okay, this is what I have, library. Also, I'm going to add uh, MySQL collector library. Okay, so those two you need. Apply, okay. Let's rebuild. This time it should work. Okay, it works. This time I will continue create a executable jar. 
So um, let me just create one. Make sure it's a hello application. And then uh, main arguments. Okay, it's uh, pretty much the same artifacts uh, with the uh, dependencies. This time you select app class that actually run hello application main. Okay, here now we can add uh, DLL files from JavaFX SDK binary directory. Okay. Apply. Okay. Build artifacts. This is where we assume that uh, target computer doesn't have uh, libraries. Okay. Of uh, JavaFX. Let's open in Windows Explorer. Double click, it should work. Okay. Click. Hello. Yeah, here you go. Three records from uh, employee table. That's all. Thank you.